Hello. Alrighty. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a scrap petal flower. Okay? And what you're going to need is a one inch circle. You can actually use whatever size circle you have. So I'm using a one inch circle. So I'm cutting out one inch circle to be my center. And then for all the petals that I'm cutting out all different, all the pieces of scraps that I have. So, and what I'm doing is this. I'm taking it and I'm cutting out two circles. And then I cut out the little leaves so they look like footballs. And then I put these two moon pieces back together again. And I hold it on one end of the moon. And then I slide it in and I cut out two more footballs. And the rest of that I just put in that little pile there. Okay. So, is there enough to do two more? Looks like it. Let's go ahead and do two more off of this one. Oh, I lucked out. I did that one real slow. And sometimes, sometimes when you punch these too slow, then they get stuck. The punch will eat your the piece that you're trying to cut out. All right, do it this way. There. All righty. Two more pieces. Let's get some of this pretty purple in there. take two at a time and just go ahead and snip those footballs out put them in the pile turn it sideways and snip some more footballs out you should get four footballs out of each circle okay and I'm going to come up close so I can do it again so that way you can see exactly what I'm doing so I've got two circles put together I've got my circle punch and I'm just going like this just so you can see a football shape go ahead and punch that out and now I've got a moon left so just hold one tip of the moon and put it in and try to go as far as you can and snip out another set of footballs. Then we're gonna do it again. And this is something that you can do easily when you're watching TV at night because you really don't have to think much about what you're doing. And all you're doing is just collecting all these little footballs, okay? Alrighty, so now we've got all of our little footballs cut out. So now it's time to start gluing, and that's the fun part. Alrighty, so I'm going to take a card. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do white. Just a plain white card. Okay. And I'm going to lay this down right in the center. And this is not even. I don't know why my cards have been going real crooked lately. Maybe I'm in too much of a hurry. That could be. All right. So, and actually you can put it right in the center or you can even put it over to the side and work off the side. Um, it doesn't really matter. You know what? As a matter of fact, maybe I'll do it. I'm going to do it down in this corner. Why not? Let's just go for it. All righty. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start gluing these down. All righty. So, we're going to take our... Come on, we just need a little dab of glue there. We're gonna put it, I'm gonna do it just big enough so that I can do one on each each side there. There, that's a good idea. All right, and then we need one on the other side. Whoa, big old. <laughs> that was weird. All right, I had a little foamy bubble on there. Must have got shaken up. All right, so that's good. Okay, then we'll do the top and bottom. Okay, let's use one of these purple ones again. Okay, and I'm just leaving this here just at first so that we can see about how to line these up. Okay, because now we're going to go in this way. And, and I'm just putting the glue on the inside bit there. So you can just like slide it right under there. Alrighty. There are so many versions of this 
and Pinterest. I just love them. All right. So you could actually leave it at that if you wanted to, but I'm just going to keep going. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep going around. So let's do this. Put a little bit more and I'm going to go ahead and do another right in between the other ones. Right in between the other ones. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't want to come up here. going to keep going around and around and around filling all this in okay so now we filled that in so let's look at it now doesn't that look pretty all right so that's looking good to me so far so now what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to punch out another um, I need something to back it because it's not very sturdy so I think, oh, you know what, I have board right here. I collect pieces of cardboard, let's use them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch that out, put the cardboard back. Then we'll go ahead and put glue on the back of this. gonna hold it up a little bit too so that'll be nice so then we'll just go ahead and put glue here and we're gonna put that right in the middle okay and we're gonna press that down and doesn't that look pretty already so you can stop here or you can keep going and it just looks so gorgeous if you keep going all right so now we're gonna go outside and we're gonna go in between all the petals so and it's okay if you over if you hang over the card because we can trim all that off Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put one in between all these other petals. They just look so pretty. Just go ahead and keep sliding them right under there. Come on. <laughs> Whichever one will come up with my finger. And if it goes on top of them, that's okay. You just want to just keep filling it in and fill it in and fill it in. And we are good. That's pretty. It's got a little flower up on the tip there. But it's better if you can get them underneath ones. So on that one, they go under, but that's okay. All right. Just hide the tip if you're going to, if you have to slide it in on top of one. That's the same color. We don't want the same color there. Okay, we'll put it over there. That looks so pretty. So 
or have you ever seen this before? Have you ever done it? It's a fun, simple, easy thing to do, and boy, does it use up some scraps for you. And as you're, what I like to do is just save these little bits of scraps, bits and pieces and stuff, and, and then when I've got enough of a variety together, then I go ahead and start punching them out, sticking them together. so pretty okay I think we need a couple more down here because I want to fill that whole corner right in and like I said let them hang off because we can go back and trim and that's just fine no problem with trimming Ooh, let's get a little purple As you can see so you could do you know a whole spray in the corner you can make it go out across you could cover the whole front if you wanted to I mean that it's totally up to you how big or what shape you want this to end up being for yourself that's really pretty okay I think I want one more there and actually let's trim some of these off and then I can use those little bits and pieces to fill in Aha. see what these look like. It looks really cool. Isn't that pretty? I love it. That's just so, so pretty. Okay, now where did I want to fill in? Right here? Oh, right here. Okay. So let's get... One little piece here. here there all right that fills in that little hole for me Ta-da! that's so pretty okay now I want it to come down here a little bit more and then I want to fill in here so let's go ahead and fill in this this part a little bit more So the kids are going to be starting school next week. Oh my goodness. It'll be nice to have my days back to myself. Even though they're older now, then they can still be exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes they're more exhausting than they were when they were little. I like to keep them going, though. I try to keep them moving around and doing stuff. Okay, so that, look, that has a nice shape. So I want to fill in maybe one or two more right here. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, and then a couple more here. around. Come on. It's such a fun little thing to do. And it does take a little while, but it's relaxing. Just sitting here and putzing around with some flower petals, you know? Ooh, 
that's getting a nice shape to it. I like it. Alrighty. So maybe a little bit more right here. Yep. One more underneath here. There. Nice. That's pretty. Alrighty. So just got to trim these little babies off and I think I'm going to call it done. Isn't that pretty? Now the other thing I have seen on sometimes been um, the ones that I've seen, sometimes they'll take a couple stray petals and they'll put a couple little stray petals on here, which is kind of a neat idea too. So just, oops, here, let's do a couple different, just so it looks like they're kind of flying off, you know? That pretty. I like that. That's neat. Okay, so I got to stand up and check this out. I'm liking the way this is looking. That's real pretty. I think I do like the stray ones too. That's just pretty. So let's go ahead and put these on. just don't want to work. There, that's cute. All right, then we'll just trim off the sides again. Ta-da! And I think we are good to go. Now the leftover ones, I could put on the inside. That'll be pretty. So let me dump these off. All right. Then we'll go ahead and put these on the inside. That's so pretty. I really like the way that one came out. They come out so different every single time. Whoops. There, okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and put these petals on here. And I'm just gonna stick them right on the side. Come on, pedal. And one more. Oh, go figure, I got the same color. All right, here, let's move this one. We'll put this one down here and we'll put this one up there. There, ta-da, nice. So we've got a nice little border and we're gonna trim this again. There. That came out nice. I like the way that looks. So what do you think of this idea? Isn't that pretty? And I've seen so many. You have to look on Pinterest and look at all the different versions of this card. They just look so pretty. So what do you think of that? Isn't that nifty? And I like the way the petals kind of stick up a little bit. So that gives it a little bit more depth to the picture, or to the card rather. So I hope you like this idea and you give it a try. So if you do, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.